take on movies so much he invited him on the radio and steve king of steve and johnny points out that nick d's radio career has had one stop johnny worked at various radio stations before she got to wgn right i worked at various radio stations roy had worked at various radio stations wally phillips bob collins nick no wgn <laughs> De Gilio on 720. You know, it was a dream come true to just work here uh, because I have so much respect for this radio station and for this honor. It's just, in, it's incredible. Nick DeGilio, welcome to the Walk of Fame. Did you ever think you'd hear that? Kidding? No, no. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but it all started in the dairy section of the Southport Jewel. Yeah, that's where I spent a significant amount of time yeah. telling people we don't have cottage cheese at a later date. <laughs> uh, that, was that what you were doing when you started working with Roy? I started working with, let me just say this, this is odd. Today marks my 32nd anniversary. Oh, how about that? Um, May 25th, 1985 was the first time I was ever on Roy's show. And yes, I was a dairy man yeah. at the Jewels. Right. So you called during work hours? Um, it, from the cooler. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, the first movie I ever reviewed on Roy's show, because Roy basically said, hey, man, I'm tired of seeing all this crap. <laughs> hey, you man, go ahead and review them. So uh, the first movie I ever reviewed, you know, 32 days ago today, was Friday the 13th, Part 5. <laughs> and I gave it a rave. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, you know, I, I told you a little bit earlier, uh, when I was inducted a couple of years ago, I had Roy Leonard on my mind the whole morning and in the weeks leading up to it. And uh, I'm sorry that he's not here to see you being inducted because I'm sure you have him on your mind as well. Oh, every day, actually, every single day. Um, the fact that they put my plaque next to his, that's just mind blowing, it's it's crazy. I'm between Roy and Orion and next to Bob Collins. What the hell is you wrong there? You don't deserve that spot. No, I don't deserve that spot, are you kidding me? Uh, I think he does, I think you do deserve it. Wow, right? thanks. Mean, you, you, make, you make a great impression on so many people overnight. Um, you know, so many people who I know say, did you hear about Nick? Did you hear the out of context segment this week? I mean, you know, you started seeing bad movies for a guy who didn't want to, but you've carved out your spot and you're excelling at it. I mean, you, do you take a moment ever to look back and say, I did it, I'm here? Yeah, uh, every time I walk into that building, uh, it, it just, it never, it never ceases to amaze me when I walk into this building and I get to do a radio show. Um, in this, in, in, for, the, for WGN, um, and it all, I, I thank Roy, and I also want to thank Mary June Rose. Mary June Rose is the pro, 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 one of the first program directors that didn't want to kill me, <laughs> um, and it was her idea to give me a show, and she teamed me up with there a guy named... There were a couple days. <laughs> just a couple days. Yeah. There, she teamed me up with a guy named Gary Lee Wright, and uh, we had a show pretty early on in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I learned a lot from him, and um, you know, all these years I've been doing this, it's just a joy every single night, and I love my listeners. They're the best. They're, they're, they're not as good. They're not, my listeners are better than your listeners, Wendy. I don't think so. Okay. I'm just saying. They're also, they they're, they're a lot weirder. I can tell you, I can tell you that. <laughs> they might be. Yeah. Uh, they're intensely loyal. That's yeah, they, they are, man. All radio listeners are loyal yeah. to their station. They really are. I think we're learning today a lot of radio employees are loyal to their station as well, which is nice. Nick DeGilio, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Really an honor. Thank you. You deserve it. You're listening to the 2017 induction to the WGN Radio Hall of Fame. Hope it out, just go away.